Good morning, everyone. This is Trish Triumpho Sullivan, and I'm going to show you today how to carve a Netsky. This is for the sculpture assignment, so we're going to do um, subtractive sculpture right, on a miniature scale. Uh, so we talked about Netskis uh, in the in-person class, and I gave you guys uh, some uh, information on how to find uh, some examples online so you can look it up, okay? And now I'm gonna give a quick demo on how to carve a Netsky. Um, and I'm here I am in my kitchen, so uh, we're, we're doing what we can, right? Here we go. So hopefully you can see really well here um, what I'm doing. Um, I don't have anyone to hold the camera for me today, so I'm going to just be seeing if I can do this. Go. There we are. Make that out of the way as possible. So here I have a little ball of clay. I'm gonna make this available to everyone who wants to, to come pick one up. Um, I'll have them in little baggies. We'll do a, a, a way that, we'll have a way that you can pick them up without uh, you know, getting close or anything. Um, if you have your own clay, you're welcome to use that. Another possibility, um, since, we, since some people are stuck at home and they can't uh, use this, a potato will work or an apple will work. You can actually carve on fruit or, or vegetables. So, um, so this is the little ball of clay. This is uh, white clay. Um, and, you know, clay is basically dirt, right? So uh, it's, um, it, won't, it won't make you dirty. Uh, it will, it'll leave some white dust on you or your clothes, but it'll wash out. It won't stain or, or ruin anything. So you don't have to worry about it hurting anything. Um, if we're able to, um, and the coronavirus uh, problem is, you know, uh, gets lifted so we can, or quarantine gets lifted, um, I will be more than happy to fire these for you. So you can, once you're done, you can drop them off for to me and um, I will make sure they're fired and then you can have something that you can, will last forever, okay? So the kind of tools that you will need are pretty simple. You can find them in your home. Um, paper clip. Paper clip works really well. Uh, a nail, plastic fork or knife, something that has a little bit of sharpness. Um, maybe a, a bamboo skewer. Um, I found a, a, just a regular screw and uh, even a, a hair clip, something like that might work. Um, just something with a little sharp point that you can, um, I've even used a pencil to like make eye holes or, or designs on it. So there's a different, all different tools that you might find around your own house that will work. Um, the paper clip can be bent up like that and it actually makes a very nice carving tool. Let me see if you can see this here. So I'll try to I'll carve into it and I can actually make a line um, pretty well using that loop of the, whoops, of the paper clip. And you can see that I've made a little gouge into my clay. So you want your clay to be what is called leather hard. This is a little softer than I would normally um, want it to work with. Um, and what does leather hard mean? So this is this I can squish pretty easily. If you can watch me, I'm just gonna squish it up a little bit and you can see that it's very pliable like we talked about in our sculpture lecture. Um, so leather hard means like this. So it's pretty tough, but you can still dent in it just a little bit, like if you press really hard. So that's leather hard, just like the leather on your shoe. So you want it not so soft that you can squish it really easily, but soft enough that you can carve it, okay? Um, so you're gonna be starting off with this little ball here. Uh, and like I said, you can use this, a little potato or a piece of potato or an apple um, and carve it. It's about the same consistency, okay? And you can just use regular tools that you have at home, right? There's no special tools needed. Um, so let's say that I wanted to carve Let's see, a rabbit. So I'll probably try to mush it into a shape, right, that's kind of close to the rabbit shape, right? So I'll have it kind of looking like that. And I might actually put some marks on it to kind of 
show where I'm where I want to carve. So I'll take my nail and um, we'll make a couple of marks for ears. Like so. Maybe I want a couple little eye holes, right? And a nose and a little mouth. And um, so the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna carve around the ears a little bit and uh, I'll make the little marks for where the legs are gonna go, right? So, like so. And remember, you can go online and kind of see um, some, some examples. You can get some ideas of different. Um, I'm gonna do just a, kind of a quick demo here. Um, so I can take one of my tools now that I've, I've kind of made some marks on here to see, to guide me, and I'm gonna take away, right? This is subtractive. So I'm taking away some of the clay. So I'm gonna use this tool, which right now is the, uh, the paper clip that I that I got and I'm gonna just kind of take away a little bit of the clay so that the ears will stand out um, remember they're not gonna stand up and remember this is a subtractive process so you're taking away clay right not uh, putting it on so you're not gonna get to get ears that stick out or anything like that because it's gonna not work um, because they'll break off right we talked about that so I'm just gonna carve some of the clay out from around the ears that I did. And so we see there's a couple ears on the back of the rabbit here. Right. And then I'm gonna carve away the back part just a little um, so I can have a place for the tail and that's one thing I didn't put on, but I'm gonna make a little tail here, so we'll make a little little bunny tail. So that'll kind of stick out from the, the sculpture just a little bit, but remember this is a closed form. We talked about the difference between closed and open forms. So a closed form, everything stays pretty close to the, to the actual form. So it's pretty fast here. But this is not this you know have fun with this you guys this is not something that should be uh should be scary or a bummer or anything like that um so let's see we'll make a little face and i'm going to carve out around the legs so it looks like it actually has some some legs there And, and you know, I'm doing this very quickly, so this is not gonna look like a real a finished one. Um, I'll try to do show another demo for you guys that shows me finishing it. Um, but I just wanted to give you a basic idea that, of, how, of, of how this works and how it's gonna look, okay? So as I've done some of the basic carving, so we've got the little bunny, um, then I can also use another tool, say like a nail, to do some of the more, um, I'd say delicate work, right, um, of, the, of the face here. So I'm gonna smooth it out just a little bit with my fingers. I've got the ears got the legs and we got the tail so as I'm working on it I'm gonna kind of make it into the to look like a little bit more like a rabbit okay so <clears throat> now you can so now I'm gonna put a little detail on it and I'm gonna use the uh, the nail for that because it's a definitely a smaller point 
And so maybe I'll, I'll put some, um, the inner ear part of the rabbit. So it looks like the ear is, is on the top here, folded back along the head. So we've got that kind of drawn in with, with just making a scratch on the surface here. And there, that looks a little better. And then I want to make the, the face look like a bunny. So I'm going to put a couple little eyes in. Another little nose. And we know bunnies have whiskers, so I'm going to make a couple little whiskers coming off the side. I'll hold it up a little higher so you can see what I'm doing. And there's his little nose and little mouth. And so then I'm going to try to put a little bit more detail onto the legs. So we see that there's that the bunny has a couple legs that are kind of folded up on the side here. Um, and remember, this is pretty crude because I'm doing it really fast here. It's going to take you a little bit longer, and that's the point. I want it to I want you to take a little longer with this. I don't want you to have it done in, fi in a five minute uh, demo. Obviously, this should probably take you um, total an hour or two, okay? Not, not a total long time, but not, not that quick. Um, and it's okay to put it down in between. So, and when you're not working on it, you need to keep it in a plastic baggie, like a Ziploc baggie, okay? Otherwise it'll dry out too much and then you'll have to rehydrate it. Rehydrating is easy. You can put it in a plastic bag with like two or three drops of water um, or, a, or a damp napkin maybe or a Kleenex. Um, and, uh, and that will, uh, will rehydrate it enough, like overnight, okay? So yeah, that's, that's an overnight type of a thing. Okay, so this is uh, pretty crude still, like I said, I, I made a little bit more detail on, onto the legs. Um, let's see here. And we'll put a little bit of claws, little, look like little claws on them. Let's see if you can see the little bunny face. And then there's the ears on the back. You can see the ears down. Um, has a little bit of a look like a bunny. Obviously it's not finished. I'll see if I can finish him up and I'll show you guys again. Um, and try to see if we can see this better. You can see the little bunny face. Okay, so have some fun with this, you guys. It's a fun project, it can, it's done at home. Um, and I will send an email with all the other information. So thanks for joining me today, and we will see you soon.